Let's look now at creating a template from our existing drawing. We have existing objects in the drawing. Now, we don't actually want those in there. What we do want are all our settings. Now, basically, this drawing has already been created. You can see that we've got objects in the drawing. Let's have a quick look at some of the settings. If I type units and press enter, the units are already set. You can see there in the length, we have a decimal length with four decimal places. You might want to change that. I'm going to go for two there. And for decimal degrees, I'm going to go for four decimal places. I'll OK that now. I might want to check direction, though. Let's check direction quickly first. That's going to the east, so that's fine. I'll OK that, and I'll OK that. Let's check our limits quickly. Type in limits and press Enter. Model space limits are set to 0, 0, like so. Again, it's 0, then the comma key, and then 0, and press Enter. And you'll see there, look, they're at the default 420 by 297 for a metric drawing in AutoCAD. Let's change that to something like 20,000 millimeters or 20 meters. So we'd have to type in 20,000 and then the comma key and then 20,000 again and then enter. We would then need to do a zoom all. So we might hop over quickly to the navigation bar here, click on the fly out and do a zoom all. What we need to do now is roll back on the wheel mouse a few notches and delete all of these objects. Now, before we delete anything, we need to check that there are no layers that are frozen or switched off. So we hop up here to the layer pull down. Now I'm in the 2D drafting and annotation workspace in the home tab. Layers panel, fly out there, nothing frozen, nothing switched off, nothing locked. That's excellent. So we can click back in the drawing area there. And what we need to do is we need to select all of these objects to erase them. Now, there's a quick way of doing this. Modify panel, erase, click on erase there, and it prompts you to select objects. What you do there is you type all at the prompt and press enter. It will select everything in the model space. You then press enter again, everything is gone. And then what you can do is you can go here to your zoom all, and that will zoom to your 20,000 by 20,000 limits that you've set. If you need to set a current layer for your template, let's do that. What I would do there is so that you can start drawing straight away in the model space, I would maybe set it to something like walls. What you need to do now is quickly check your layout tabs. Make sure there's nothing in any of your layout tabs. No, there isn't. And then one more thing to check on your layer properties manager. Make sure that you check on your layer properties manager that your viewports layer, let's have a look now. Just slide across on the slider bar to find the layer names there. And make sure that your viewports layer here, when you click on the little plotter, is set not to plot. You don't want those blue viewports in the layouts plotting. So I'll close that. Everything is ready to go. Now what I would do is go to the first layout when I'm creating a template. Now all I've got to do now is do a save as and then save this template as a DWT file. So what we need to do now is we need to save this drawing as a template. To do that, we go up to the quick access toolbar here and we click on save as. Now it'll automatically try and save as a DWG. In the files of type, click on the down arrow and select here AutoCAD drawing template. Now that will default to that template folder that we looked at in the options dialog box in the previous exercise in this section. Now I'm just going to save it in that template folder. Then I know where it is. Every time I click on new, I will also know where it is because I can find it in that template folder because AutoCAD defaults to the default template folder here. So let's give it a sensible name. What we'll do, we'll call it a, A, A. Now, the only reason I'm putting A, A, A at the beginning is because it will automatically come to the top of the list. You would possibly call it something a little bit more sensible, like ISO, and we'll say A3, because we set it up to work with metric A3 paper. So we'll put A3 metric template, like that. Now, that A, A, A is purely going to take it to the top of the list. What I could also do there is put numbers as well. I am going to put a dash in there like that, just to distinguish the name from the A, A, A. 
So what I do now is I click on save, and what you'll see is it prompts me for a description. So I'll put in there ISO A3 metric template again. I tend to put the same as what I've got as the name of the file. Make sure your measurement is set to metric here, like so. You can ignore the new layer notification. We don't need to worry about unreconciled layers in this particular instance. And I'll OK that. That now saves that as a metric template. And you'll notice the name of the file here has changed. That is now a template file. You have saved a DWT file.